Hi everyone, first of all, well, hello and welcome. First of all, take down the lights after cleaning your screens. Uh, don't let the sun reflect on it. Wait till nighttime if you have to. The surface is hard to see. These videos are always hard to see during the day. And I mean, it's not because we're dirty people. I know it, I get it. The screens are always smudgy, um, but you have to clean it to be able to see it properly, the details, and take the time to see it at night. Along with me descending the exposure, uh, we're going to get in uh, close, closer than I've ever gotten before. And that's what I'm doing progressively um, till the end of the year. That's for sure. I, I never stop. But once we get in, uh, this video is unique because not everyone will understand or appreciate or even be able to see the surface. Um, I'm close up to the screen. I always am because I love seeing the surface and the details. Um, you have to understand there is a haze on the surface. It's not anything that we can... Um, you know, hide. It's there. We can help by descending the exposure and adjusting the lighting in the image or the, the live footage to be able to see less haze or cloud, but it's there. And we're really close. And this is um, with a 14 inch telescope to appreciate the surface. We're right into the hazes where, you know, we talk about a frequency or something on the surface, even theoretically holographic uh, lead could be uh, camouflaging the surface look at Kepler crater one of my favorite shots not even the closest but one of my favorites because we can see behind Kepler so what we're looking at in this video my friends and thanks for being here we're looking at areas that are hard to see with the telescopes uh, to bring us different views of the surface different craters that are often uh, not seen not everybody appreciates it, but I know most of you do, but it is hard. I mean, I do have beautiful videos to see the nice colors and, and craters, but when we get in close, that's what we have to deal with is that atmospheric disturbance, whether it be from the moon or from earth. I'm not here to fight with you uh, or anyone about that because I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in seeing what's on the surface. Uh, this is a crater really, really close up. You got to appreciate uh, viewing the surface on a low angle. I'm going to show you some uh, unique, uh, exclusive, I can say, uh, angles with a telescope in this video. So I hope you guys really appreciate it. After the live stream, I'm getting another video up for this channel because, well, because you guys deserve it. Thanks for watching. So those of you who want to get in really close and want me to really push it are really gonna appreciate this video. Thanks again, everyone.
Napoli, thank you so much, bro, for being so supportive to the channel. I just got your wonderful letter. Um, thanks so much. I'll be talking about it in the live stream tonight. First letter in, bro, is from you, Tori Napoli, man. Thanks for all the comments I've been reading and for just the ongoing support. Thanks for being there, man. It's people like you that make this channel possible. And, bro, thanks so much for the generous contributions. David Dismagus, thanks, bro, so much for the generous contributions and for the wonderful, kind comments, man, and support. Uh, Jacques Timowat, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Thank you for the generous contributions. And Bobby Catanese, Christy Lindsay, Mr. Steve Towers, John Mergle, Francois Bedal, James Wright, Christina Garamo Pertwis. It, the list just goes on. For whatever the reason you'd like to send me something, here is my mailing address. Houston, say again, please.